Hi everybody, we got a video for you today to talk about the new aluminum shock bodies that we released. So these are going to be a direct replacement for the plastic shock body that comes standard with the cars. Now one thing we did on this aluminum body is we made the uh, an adjustable collar here. So the whole shock body is threaded so you can run this collar up and down. Kind of gives you a more infinite adjustment, it gives you more fine adjustment. Now, one of the questions we know, the first thing that's going to come up is, are these an oil-filled shock? They are not oil-filled. They're just a direct replacement body for the plastic shock bodies. We did try oil-filled shocks. We tested them a lot, and we just could never get them to feel the way we wanted on the car. Uh, the biggest area was the O-ring uh, to seal the bottom around the shaft. We could either get it where it sealed it really good and it really stuck the shaft, the shaft wouldn't move freely, or not sealed enough and basically it just leak all the oil out. Uh, just really made the car inconsistent. Uh, we thought, figured it was just going to be a mess to, to, put, to mess with those, so we just uh, opted to do uh, an aluminum body, but we really wanted this uh, more fine adjustment so that you didn't have to use the plastic clips. We will do these in a silver and a blue. So it'll give you a couple different color options. The silver is just basically clear anodized, so you get that natural aluminum look. These will, again, this is just a direct replacement, so it uses all the same parts. Uh, use the shock shaft. Now, when you go to put the shock shaft in these, you definitely want to make sure that you add lube to this O-ring. Uh, they do have a, this, this body is a little bit more sticky when it's dry than the plastic. So if you don't have any lube on that O-ring, uh, that can become a problem. So make sure you either use the uh, associated green slime or the TLR uh, shock O-ring lube, any of that. And you can also run other kinds of grease and stuff on there to get a different feel. But you're going to want to, when you, when you first get these, go ahead and build them all up, push the shaft in. You're going to screw the bottom on. And we recommend doing the, put the rod end on them, put the shaft in and all that before you snap the cap on. Now, there is one, we did make this a little bit tighter on the top so that they don't pop off the shock caps as easy. We know the plastic ones sometimes after, you know, they pop off once or twice, they get loose. And one of the problems is the body kind of, you know, starts wearing out that. So you, you, you know, they just pop off easier. So we made this a little bit bigger so it fits the, the cap better. And it also keeps the body from spinning when you go to adjust the collar. Now, one little unique thing you got to watch with this is... When you go to snap the cap on, if you snap a brand new cap on and sometimes even a used one, they trap air inside. Like this one here, you can see it trapping air. So it's pushing it out. There's rebound in it. Now, we thought when we first seen that, we were like, hey, great. That's a great tuning option. Well, the problem is, is if you hold that down for quite a while, the air will eventually bleed out. And you can see it's not popping back as fast. But when you pull it out, now it'll pull it back in. So what we do, or what we did, is we gave you a drill bit, a one millimeter drill bit with the shock bodies. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill a hole in this shock cap. And what we recommend doing is put the shock cap on the shock body. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill it right in this corner right here at a pretty much, you know, about a 45 degree angle. Now, when you go to drill this, make sure that you don't go very fast. We recommend using like a pin vise to hold this drill bit, and you can get those at your local hardware stores, and that's fairly easy to use. You can use a power drill, but if you do do this on the shock, if you use a power drill, you're going to go into that shock or through the cap, and if you don't stop quick enough, you're going to get into the shock body. It's going to damage the body. Now, the, the shock O-ring really doesn't get up at the top very often, so if you do scrape the inside, it's not going to be the end of the world, but you can have a chance to do this. So we just recommend using a little pin vise. Just grab onto this, put it right down in the corner, right in the center, and just slightly, you know, just push and, and turn it at the same time. This plastic's pretty soft, so it'll go through there pretty quick. And we recommend doing that at like a 45-degree angle. We have a shock cap right here that we've already drilled, and we'll show you this, like going all the way through. Put it on a white background here so you can see that. So you can see how it just kind of goes right through there. And if you want, you can, you know, if you're worried about damaging the shock body, you can just get this hole started and then pop the shock cap off and then just finish drilling it outside. And then when you're done, just take an X-Acto knife and clean any kind of debris off there so it doesn't get down in the shock. But this is something if you, when you go to snap your caps on, if you use an old cap, you might not have this problem. If you put the cap on and the shock goes up and down and it's staying, you don't have to worry about it. But if you do get this, if it does pull back in 
or it does pull back out or push back out, you're definitely going to want to drill that cap. Don't try to use this, the rebound thing. It just, it'll, it'll just cause a mess. It just doesn't stay consistent. Uh, and as you run these and the caps get a little bit looser, it'll bleed that off and your setup will change based on that. So, so make sure you do that. Just be super careful with this drill bit. It's very, very small. Uh, make sure you don't have your fingers behind it or anything like that when you're drilling. Um, don't want anybody to get hurt with that. So that's one thing you, you definitely want to do that. Um, if you have any questions on these, uh, feel free to hit us up on our support email or on our social media pages. We'll answer any questions that you have. Uh, as we mentioned, they do uh, give the car a little bit different feel uh, there. So you got a little bit of tuning option with these. We uh, ran them quite a bit, uh, really liked them. They performed really good. The really nice thing is having that uh, adjuster uh, collar on there. Uh, one thing on the adjuster collar, there, if you're used to 10 scale cars, a lot of the adjuster collars have an O-ring in them. These don't have an O-ring, they're just simply threaded on there. Uh, we didn't have any problems with these moving at all when you, you know, when you were running the car, the spring wasn't unwinding them or anything like that, but there's really nowhere to put an O-ring in there. So, you know, we just, we couldn't do that to, you know, give it a little bit of resistance, but we didn't have any issues with it in testing. So I don't think you have any problems with it, but, um, and like I said, the collars will come threaded on the shocks as well. So you don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, so if you have any, like I said, if you have any questions, hit us up on our social media pages or our uh, support email. We'll answer any questions. Um, you know, play with them, enjoy them. Uh, make sure you keep watching our website uh, and social media pages for more new products to come. And thanks for watching.